jam. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is the first words I've said out loud all day. Hello again and welcome to the Mana Pool. This is episode 492 of the Mana Pool. Correction for past Chewy, it's 493. The way that he looked it up was to go to themanapool.com and see what the next episode was. The problem with that is that 492 hadn't gone live yet. Hey, dummy. Good lord, that is not a small number. And I am Chewy, the lead dork. This is the pre-release episode for Rivals of Ixalan, but I haven't actually left for the pre-release yet because I wanted you guys to hear this. This is a sound that's been going on outside of my door since I woke up this morning. I don't know what it is, but it's really loud. So I don't know how much of that you're actually getting. But it's just nonsense. I actually think it's a car. Maybe? I don't know. Anyway, I'm going to go grab some fast food and then head to Lucky's card shop so we can pre-release. It'll just be me and Mike, so this episode will probably be shorter than usual, but it'll be all right, right? Right. This is the story of my life, listeners. I had to get food before heading to Lucky's. Mind you, the pre-release starts at noon. Because I went on autopilot, I went out the way that wasn't food, because it's the way I always go out. So then I had to take a small detour to get back to where food was, and at 11.45, Mickey D's is packed. I don't understand. This is why I'm perpetually late for things, because one small thing pushes me further and further back, and then more small things pile up on me. So this, this is my life. I just thought I'd share, because there are like 18 people in line at Mickey D's at quarter to noon. I don't understand. Mickey D's isn't even that good. Maybe everyone's going to the pre-release and we're all running late. Yeah, there we go. We'll go with that. Hopefully, next time you hear from me, we'll be at Lucky's. Hopefully. All right, I have successfully made it to Lucky's before the tournament started because I forgot in my panic that it's Lucky's, which means when it says 12, it doesn't mean 12. Thank goodness I was able to eat. I get here and it turned out Mike is also stupid yes. and didn't eat. Correct. Which is bad because I ate. And that's, that, made, that makes you look bad, Mike. So here's the question that came up on stream last night. All right. When's the last time you and I actually saw each other? Like in person? Yeah. <laughs> Was it the chili thing? Might have been. Did we? Because us guys didn't get together in between then, did we? I don't think it was so. Before no. that. Yeah. Like the live episode was recorded sometime in September, sometime around the same time that the Nerf report was. That's the yeah. last time we like hung out. Right. <laughs> oh look, and there's sexy Jared wearing a surgical mask. Hey. That's a little disturbed. Why are you wearing a surgical mask? Because I've been coughing up brown stuff for the last day. That's I not. Wanted to make sure I didn't share that with everybody. That's else. not a good look, man. Like he's throwing stuff at us. We have some kind of design. He's throwing stuff at us. You want to draw it for me? Because I can't draw. Oh, it's so cute. Here, you can have that one. Oh, okay then. So what are we? What are we hoping for here, Mike? Hoping for um. Elder dinosaurs. Elder dinosaurs. Dinosaur. Dinosaur. Yeah. That's a good. <laughs> Saber Tiger. <laughs> it says it on the card. Try Santa. Brontosaurus is a dinosaur either. Yeah, well, that's not even a real animal. <laughs> I don't like that. Huh? It's really okay. me, damn it. It's <laughs> shut up, Mike. So yeah, I guess we're gonna build our decks now. I guess so. <laughs> so um, yeah, we will check in later. Amazingly enough, even with a really miserable pool, I was able to build a deck before Lucky called round one. I'm proud of me. Yeah. How, uh, and Mike actually finished after me because Mike made a drastic decision at the end. Yeah, I switched. Not at the end, but pretty close to the end. I switched colors. Yeah. So I ended up going green red with a solid curve and not really much of a theme because. My white was miserable, my blue was full of spells that didn't do much, and very few creatures, and my black 
was terrible. It had good spells and okay creatures, but I opened a Vona. Yeah. And my white and black were both, eh. Uh, yeah, I don't like it. it and I opened two of the uncommon lords, the Merfolk Lord and the Vampire Lord, and didn't have enough of either to bother playing them. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, like I said, I'm just green-red curve. Which should, you know, it's sealed, so that should be fine. Right. Mm -hmm. What'd you end up with? I ended up with green-blue, and I'm with just a, a bunch of creatures and um, some stuff to go find things. My, uh, my promo card is... Um, Galta, the twelve twelve that gets cheaper for the creature's power. Oh yeah. And the rest of the green was solid, but it needed help from something, and I just couldn't figure it out. And like black had removal, but the creatures were like eh, and like at the wrong place in the curve. Um, and there were a couple that were essentially blank because they were vampire synergy cards, and I didn't have enough vampires really. Yep. Um, white, there just wasn't enough interesting creatures, so I was choosing between red and blue and red looked good because it also had some cool spells but then again when I had everything laid out the curve looked wrong my creatures didn't look impressive enough so I switched to green blue and I have like one like two removal spells a plummet and the expel from Arazka where otherwise I'm just going to be trying to run at people because my blue had just more impressive solid stuff like some flyers I got two of these flying hexproof guys nice. hopefully that'll help but yeah. Soul of the Rapids. Yeah. And I also got the the green blue transform card, Hadana's Climb. I'm gonna try to make that work. It's completely insane. Oh crap. There was a when I abandoned blue I forgot. There was a um there was a comes into play tap land that I forgot about. Okay, I need to switch out one of these basics. Which one? The Woodland Stream. Oh, the green blue one. Yeah, nice. I forgot, yeah. So I gotta remember to do that. Yeah. My deck ended up being very creature heavy. I've only got a couple mm -hmm. of removal spells, a couple of combat tricks. Right. But I opened, like, the worst sealed pool ever as far as rares go. Like, my promo was uh, Brass's Bounty. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. That's... I have a Sphinx's Decree, which is bad. I have a Warkite Marauder, which is alright if I'm playing blue, which I'm not. Right. Wait a minute, where'd Admiral's the card order. go? Oh. Did I sleeve it up? Oops. I got Vona. That hurts. I got Dire Fleet Poisoner with not enough pirates. Uh-huh. And I got Verdant Sun's Avatar, which is in the deck. So yeah, it's kind of kind of lame, but like I said, I ended up building a nice deck on curve. So yeah, that'd be good. Like I don't, I'm not really complaining now that I've built the deck. Right. I was before I built the deck. Though. It, was, it was terrible. <laughs> I was like, what is this crap? Man, these sleeves are dirty as hell. Oh yeah. You got there, oh, hey, thanks. <laughs> what, uh, what did your deck end up with? Red, white. Say it where the uh, little it's, Afro man can this, hear this you. Is, this is Jared, by the way. Sexy uh, Jared. Sexy Jared. Use your full name. <laughs> Sexy dot Jared at ATG.net. But, uh... Wow. No. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm just red, white. Uh, didn't open anything amazing. Uh, no. didn't open the red, uh, Elder Dino. Uh, Demetrodon or Spinosaurus is <laughs> Chewy keeps correcting me um, but uh, it's a fairly aggressive deck did you see deck. Jurassic Park 3 man it's a Spinosaurus no. never I only watched the first one it's the only one that's any good right uh, yeah alright I'll give you that yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but I mean I've, I've probably seen it like 10 or 12 times but yeah you know. really yeah I've only ever seen the first Jurassic Park why are you guys communists we're not you didn't see Jurassic we just World? have taste no. taste see see taste well, Jurassic World was awesome Okay. It might not have been good, but it's awesome. All right. No, I'll I don't like you it. anymore. Go away. Take your mask okay. away. Go All right. Away. I hope I, I hope you. I hope I play me. you both in round one. Yeah. Somehow. You, you will. <laughs> That's how it works. Yeah. <laughs> Lord. It's a good thing you're cute. So. <laughs> I'm sure he hears that from his girlfriend all the time. Mm -hmm. But the real story here is what we're gonna do after the tournament. Right. Because we're going to go to Lucky's and have celebrity... No, no, we're at Lucky's. We're going to go to Don Juan and have celebratory Mexican food. Yes, that'll be great. Which is the best Mexican food. And the best reason to have Mexican food, which is because we want to. Yeah. We'll either be celebrating doing very well or celebrating going to Don Juan's. <laughs> either way, it works out. Either way, it works out. And Ashley's going to be there, mm -hmm. so that'll be good. I hadn't seen her since Chile. Right. 
I think that was the last time I laid eyes on you. Isn't that sad? Yeah, it is. That's We're bad at bizarre. this. Hmm. So what else did you open that ended up not in your deck? Anything good? Um, uh, I got a Dragon Skull Summit. Those are always useful. Oh, Let's nice. Um, I got a Vona's Hunger in black that ascend spell, yeah. sex creature, or sacrifice half of them. Uh, Growing Rites of Itlamot. Ooh. Doesn't... Doesn't really work in your... Yeah, it just goes and finds a creature. Yeah. The mana doesn't benefit me, really. Unless, it's still good to have Unless, one, like, though. I draw... Well, no, that doesn't work either. Because if I draw Galta and don't have any creatures, then... The, <laughs> then Itlamot <laughs> won't make any mana to help me. So, that's kind of pointless. It's good to have one, though, not necessarily for a sealed pool. Right, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Um, I didn't get quite enough flyers to benefit from favorable wins. I got a foil favorable wins that Ooh. didn't do me any good. Uh -huh. <laughs> Let's see, doop -de doo I did get like three foils in my six packs, oddly enough. Uh huh. I got a Siege Horn Ceratops, a green white dinosaur that gets bigger with some rage. Ooh. I got the white elder dinosaur, the Talpa. Damn! Mm -hmm. But the rest of the white creatures and spells just weren't interesting. Yeah, he yeah, got the Acromosaur and isn't playing white. Just like I opened Avona and I'm not playing white or black. Mm -hmm. We have strange sealed pools, Mike. We do. It's weird. Oh well. So I guess. Is there anything else to talk about? Like, I don't know. I don't guess so. Probably not. Probably not. This is why we miss Brian, because Brian would take the mic and walk away, and right. and I'd be like, "Will you bring him back? He's still sleeping his deck." <laughs> anyway, okay then. So hopefully you'll hear back from us after round one, maybe. Yeah. All right, well, it's the beginning of round one, and of course, Mike and I are playing against each other. Right. So we're going to set the recorder here and actually record the games. This is going to be an adventure. Here, cut that for me, would you? So if we ID and, and each of us win out, we still have a chance, right? Uh, yes. <laughs> wow, these sleeves are dirty as hell. Yeah, they are. Damn. I, mean, I grabbed the wrong pack out off, one, off my cabinet, seven. whatever the hell it is. So here you go. You guys get a rare thing. I think I've only done this once before. Just record a full game. And only once that I can remember. Yeah. Oh, wait, we didn't. You got it. What? We didn't. Oh yeah, we who's just going first? Going first right. Well, that just means that since we both looked, whoever wins the roll has to go first. Okay. So. We determined that. Yeah, before we look and before we just decide mulligans. Okay. Yeah. Six Sick. on two D6s. I can lose to that. Hang on. No, I didn't, you, though. No, you cannot. All, All right. right, I guess I'll go first, then. And will I keep this? Uh, I'm ready with mine. Yeah, yeah, I'll keep this. Okay, so hang on. Deck goes there. I go forest, jungle delver, go. Okay. Oh, one drop. What you gonna do, beardy face? I don't know. <laughs> Forest, go ahead. <clears throat> oh, it looks like you're going to take one is what you're going to do. <laughs> Bitch! Uh, attack for one. Yep, 19. Mountain. Where'd he go? Uh, Tillanali's Knight. All right. Go. Oh, what if I have a dinosaur, Mike? Oh, snap. Does he just get bigger or does he get an ability? Uh, plus one, plus one until end of turn. Okay. So when he attacks, if I have a dinosaur, yes. Right. Uh, Island, your turn. Oh, snap. Might be taking all the damage. Uh oh Give me this. Okay, maybe not all the damage, because I didn't find another land. That sucks. Uh, swing it for three. Uh, no blocks. 16. Six. I haven't been marking your life, either. So let's see. You took one to go yeah. to 19. And now you're at 16. Okay. Go ahead, sir. You better hope I don't find another land, dude, because <laughs> it's over. My entire hand is, is three drops that all cost zero. Forest, uh... <clears throat> Shauna's Wayfinder, Explore. Nice. It is a shipwreck leader. Cool. Hmm. I'm actually going to dump it in the graveyard. I'll put a counter on it. Mike milling himself? No. Maybe. Your turn. <laughs> Who ever heard of such silliness? <laughs> okay, now we're in actual trouble here. Oh, yeah, that's bad. I am playing 17 land, right? Yeah, yeah, I am. I don't know. I didn't see you picked them up. So, I guess... Go. Damn it. 
I shuffled too much. That's what it is. <laughs> that must have been it. Let's see here. Islands. Here's where it all goes downhill, listeners. This is where my, mine and Mike's friendship ends. I'm going to Don Juan by myself. Playing a Roscoe throwback. Just a 4 2. Oh, three. yeah, that guy. And. Uh, I'm going to say go ahead. Ha! Ah! Nice. <laughs> uh, how about. A thrashing Brontodon? Uh oh. Brontodon. <clears throat> As opposed to Bronta Steve. This is Don. Bronta Charles. <laughs> Bronta Dave. Bronta Dave. I hit you with Charles. <laughs> um, oh, I'm going to start calling him the Bronta Dave now. Yeah, that's pretty good. All right, I will swing with Tolanali's Knight. It'll trigger. No blocks. No blocks. 13. 13. Woo, damage. <clears throat> Go get him there. Uh, All right. Dude, what is your name again? Mike. Yeah, that guy. Oh, hi, Mike. <laughs> anyway, how's your sex life? <laughs> you like how it did this first round, right? Island. Right? Yeah. All right, so. Um, this is seven power. Couldn't even let us wait till the last round to play each other. No, no. Damn it, Lucky. This is seven power, so Galta costs five. Oh, Jesus. Hey, look, a Galta. Yay. Okay. All right, well, I lose. Come back. <laughs> sure, why not? I'll tag with the back. All right. It's a 4-2. It's a 4-2. I'll take four. All right. Your turn. All right. My turn. Give me that. Hmm. <laughs> Just looking at your 12-12 with Trample, like, what do I do now? Um, I legitimately don't know what to do. <laughs> mm. uh, wow, that's depressing. Uh, like my brain is running through my deck trying to find something that can stop that. Right. <laughs> I'm looking at all the black cards that aren't in my deck, and I'm like, oh, I had an impale. <laughs> You give a flying and plummet it. In, in red green. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you wait for me to give a flying and plummet it. Yeah. <laughs> Except that would be stupid if you were to give a flying because it's going to kill me in two swings anyway. <laughs> um, okay, hang on. Math is hard. Okay. All right, I'm going to combat. All right. Wait, no, that's stupid because you've got a 12 12. Okay, I'll play a cacophodon. Okay. And say go. Right. Well, that's depressing. Mike drew a bomb and I lose. Alright, so. Combat. Yep. Delta. Yep. So I'm at 13. You're at 16. I'm at, that's you. I'm at 60. I put us on the wrong thing from where I usually do. It's usually oh. me and the opponent. I put you first because it's you. I always put you first, Mike. Thank you. Okay, so I'm at 16. So if I take that, I go to four and definitely die. Let me tell you what, I will suck up five of it with the Cacophodon just to give okay. me a fighting chance. All right. Go to, what did I take, seven? Jesus, yeah, seven. go to nine. Um, <clears throat> and then I scratch. Second main, I'll play Soul of the Rapids. Oh, goody. Three, two, flying hex proof. Go ahead. All right, deck. Need you to work for. Oh yeah, he took damage and I untapped one of these lanes and it didn't matter. All right. Mountain. Combat. All right. Ah, everybody. Trigger. Okay. Um. <coughs> block the front down with the frill back. I'll block um, Jungle Delver with Tishana's Wayfinder. And I'll block Tillinali's Knight with Soul of the Rapids. Okay. So those two trade, those two trade, and that bounces off. As things currently stand, right? Right. Well, this one dies. It doesn't just bounce off. 
Well, right, I meant. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That one still sits there, so right. is what I meant by that. Okay, fine. So then I'll play a crested herd color. He brings a friend. Look, it's a friend. Awesome. All right, I think now I lose. Go ahead. <laughs> yeah, I think so. So I'm just going to attack with everybody, and you don't have enough toughness to... Yeah. So if I do that and that, then that's uh, nine. nine. Mm -hmm. And if I do that, then that's nine. six and three is nine. And yeah. hey, look, I'm at nine. All right, well, that was depressing. All right. <laughs> I don't even know if there's anything in my deck that can do anything about that. Getting hung on mm -hmm. uh, two I guess land for three turns didn't help either. Yeah. <laughs> Thinking back again, and maybe like a reason to play Growing Rights of Itlamak would for there to be another way to help me randomly find Galta, but I don't know if that's worth it because it doesn't do anything else. Yeah. Wait a minute, hang on. Let's stop it. Quit what did you do? You flip one backwards. Got one turned the wrong way. <laughs> let me let me consult the Book of Armaments here. See if there's. Hey, that's that works. That works. Stand right there. <laughs> See if there's anything in here that does anything about that, just in case. Oh, Divine Verdict, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my phone still hasn't told me that you left a message. I didn't. You should. Oh, you didn't? I don't leave voicemails. It's, oh. It's 2018. Who the hell leaves voicemails? <laughs> okay, then if my phone wasn't getting signal when you called, then it won't tell me about the missed call later. It just won't. Oh. Because your phone is dumb. Yeah. But if you had left a voicemail, then it would have buzzed at me at some point. Ah. All right. I was right. There's there's nothing in there that could help. So I'm on the let's hope Mike doesn't ever draw a to ever plan. <laughs> it's a hell of a plan. I'm excited to be a part of it. And limited? Hey, it can work. I wonder if I should stop the recording in between games. I don't know. It depends on whether um, we have stuff to say. And, uh, how's your mom? She's doing well. She was just telling me about plans for Dad's birthday on Sunday. Like tomorrow? Yeah. Nice. So I'm going to go and have dinner with them tomorrow evening. Nice. Yeah, that, that's that a, a Mark sleeve, but I'm not going to look at what it is. Because <laughs> I don't feel like re-sleeving right now, yeah. and it's just you. I saw scratches on other stuff. Too, so. I thought it might have been a hair or something, but no, it was a scratch. Uh -huh. Okay. I think we forgot to cut each other's decks before we started last time. I asked you to cut mine, did you? Really? Yeah, I said he cut that for me, would you? I don't remember. I don't remember either way. Uh -huh. That was a strange sound. There's all kinds of weird stuff going on around here. Mm -hmm. Beautiful. Greensboro, North Carolina. <laughs> Yay! Yay. Oh, you know what's beautiful about it? Mike. <laughs> and sexy Jared. Yeah. yeah all right. I shall play first. All right. Wow, this is not the same problem as before. Um. All right, I'm ready. I get a free one, right? <laughs> I gotta throw that back. No, this isn't one of those formats with a free one. It was five lands, a two drop, and a four drop. I've heard advice that, you know, that you should be less um, aggressive with mulligans and limited, just because, you know, the deck is, eh, anyway. But yeah, that does sound a little too dodgy to stick with. Had it been four lands, a two drop, a four drop, and a whatever. And, and an anything, yeah. Yeah, I'd have I been all right that. with it in a hurry, but... As it was. Mm, that's yeah, much. you're relying too much on what you draw to do anything. Yeah. So I'll take a free scry. And Michael draw Galton and play it on turn four, and then I'll swear a lot. <laughs> It'll be fine. I wonder if that's possible for this deck. Maybe. Probably not. Probably not. Okay. One, three, six. Okay, here we go. Huh. Actually, it is. The two, if the two drop explorer guy gets a counter, and the three drop explorer guy gets a counter, no, then Galta will cost six on turn four. Never mind. I did that wrong. Put that on the bottom. All right. Now we'll go Forest Go. All right. 
How you like me now? Pretty well. Woodland stream, go ahead. Gold teeth when I smile. Do I want to do that? Sure. Deep Root Warrior. Alright. Go for it. His roots go deep. <laughs> Forest, go ahead. Mountain. Swing. No blocks. 18. Yeah. My 18. Knight, go ahead. All right. Look, this is how it started last game, and then I got smashed on. Island, Tishana's Wayfinder, explore. Here we go again. Delta. I'll leave him on top, I think. That's probably a good call. I probably. So. At least plus now, I know, now I know I have a, a clock here. All right. Go ahead. Okay. Oh, no. A 3-3, three, three, you say? Yep. Oh, I can't. Oh, I can't do both of those things. That sucks. Uh, hang on. <laughs> oh wait, I don't have to do both of those things because this does the same thing. A Raptor. All right. Three, four, four. four. Combat. Mm -hmm. Swing with both of these heat triggers. Is that a total of five? It is a total of five. Oh, my little birdie down is always so cute. Good call. Dang it. Um. Get dunked on. Yeah, I am. Um. Wait a minute, let's think about this. No blocks, I'm at 13. Okay. You see, listeners, that's a 3-3 three, three because of the trigger. And that's a 3-3 three, three if you block, so either way it'll be a trade. Yeah. Nice. Your turn. Okay, let's think about this. And I'm holding cards. Let's hope there's not a board sweeper. Play a forest. I'm going to play Hadana's Climb on Tashana's Wayfinder. That's a problem. So when does it get the counter? At the beginning of combat on my turn. That's what I'm afraid of. Okay. Oh no, it's just a. It's not an aura. That's even better. It's just an enchantment that sits there. Oh, that's even better. Oh yeah, I misread that. I thought you had to. Huh. Well nice. thanks. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, combat at a counter here. Yep. No attacks. Okay. And go ahead. Okay. Going ahead, sir. Combat. All right. Wait. Do I combat? Hang on. Control Z, Control Z. Nope, don't combat. I got oh, Jade Bear. Okay. Put plus one, plus one counter on my Merfolk. All right. Oh hey, thanks. Uh, combat. Okay. Ah, everybody get in there. Rar. Trigger. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine damage. That's too much. <laughs> no damage is too much. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Well, all right. Uh, he he, we have, he we dropped his Delta so on turn five. That's so, a problem. Or six or whatever it was, and beat the crap out of me. But this round, I'm yeah, no, crushing I, his face. I can't go to four. I have to Arga. So hey, listeners, this is Charles who uh, was building his deck at the same table as us. I'll block a Raska Raptor. Block a Raska Raptor, okay. Yeah. So take that much. Six. Take so six. That puts me at seven. Put you at seven. He, the Raptor dies. Okay. Um, the Raptor dies, there we go. And then I'll fire a cannonade. Diddle two damage to each non pirate. Okay. That's what I was afraid of. Damn right you were. Why can't I pick this up? There we go. And now, it's your turn. All right. But Mike, I had to kill my own Jade Bearer. <laughs> Oh no! Let's see. Islands. So, yeah, even though I could have, I would have been able to play Galta this turn if I hadn't blocked, I really didn't want to go to four. I would have just lost yeah. on your next attack. Because having a 12 12 with Trample doesn't do you any good. Right. If I have a lot of dudes that kill you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> For the benefit of the listeners, I would have put a third counter on the uh, Wayfinder, and I would have had enough mana to activate the. Wing Temple of Araska to make it a 10 10, and Galta would have only cost two. Yeah? It would have been pretty cool, but then it would have lost, <laughs> which is a problem. I will play. Crap! <laughs> Aquatic Incursion. I get two Merfolk tokens. I don't think I got any of those tokens. I got one! Awesome. Somewhere. In the crap pile. Use a die for one, I'll use this for this one. 
Because this one, at the beginning of combat, good. I'm going to give this one a plus one, plus one counter. Aha! And then it's your turn. Oh, then it's my turn. Okay. Let me untap a bunch of crap. Oh, wow, that's really funny. Okay. I'm going to play Cherished Hatchling. <laughs> Alright. And I'm going to combat. Okay. With you, Trigger, and with you. Um. Hey, Mike. Hey. You should kill it. <laughs> Maybe. It'll be great. <laughs> I mean, no. Don't kill it, Mike. <laughs> that all would right. be awful. Um, I'm just going to chump block Deep Root Warrior with a small token. Okay. And take three. Take three. Go to four. Real bad. Real bad. It was pretty awesome. Uh, okay, go. You should kill it. I would like to. <laughs> Islands. Man, this sucks. I did get your name. Right? I'm terrible with names. Okay, good. I remember faces forever, but names bounce off of me like I have protection from names or something. I don't know. It's a magic joke. <sighs> Um, yeah. See, Charles wins because he got a promo gulta. Yours is... No, wait. You got the promo gulta. Yeah. Damn. Never mind. Charles wins because he didn't get a promo right. gulta. He had to open his honest. I actually just lose next turn. There's nothing I can do. Oh, really? Yeah. Yay. All right. It was a mount. <laughs> All right. So even though Mike drew gulta early, I was able to pressure him enough to where it didn't matter. Right. I had a creature in my hand, but it was that merfolk. It was that unblockable merfolk that bounces someone when he enters. Oh, that defeats the purpose. Yeah, all so have tokens. Yeah. yeah. Whew, that was that was fairly intense. Mm. I'm on the six on that game too. <laughs> nice. <laughs> oh, by the way, the opening hand yeah. was a different two drop, the same four drop, in three uh, four lands, but the top card was another land that I put on the bottom. The right. first draw was the Cherished thing, which was the same two drop from oh. opening hand. And I'm like, <laughs> all right. <Yep>. What? <laughs> okay, Hadon's Climb is even better than I thought since it's not an aura. Yeah. I think it we is... realized that at the time, but like on the episode. Oh, it's the green-black one that's an aura. Is it? Yeah. When the enchanted creature dies, it comes back oh, and the aura yeah. comes back transformed. That's what it was. Mm -hmm. All right, I would like to play first. Well, it doesn't matter what you play. <laughs> okay. One more piece. And uh, tosses. Okay. Okay. Let's take a shuffle. Here you go. No, I totally cut your deck the first. What the? Okay. Oh, hey, Randy. Oh, my God, it's Randy. What's going on? Hey, you doing? Doing pretty well. Today? Yep. Yep. What y'all playing? Yep. Mm -hmm. Y'all got fair enough? Isn't that yeah. in round one? In round one. Oh, this is just now round one? It is. Mm. <laughs> All right, whatever. Uh, good to see you. Yeah, good to see you too. Take it easy, man. You, you doing all right? <laughs> I, don't, I, I tend to not believe Randy when he says that. There <laughs> right, you ready? No, I. Uh, I don't think I can do it, Mike. Mm. Can I? I don't know. I do not know what to tell you. You know what? I'm going to do it. Okay. So yes, I'm good. All right. Boris, go. Paid off. Okay. <laughs> Hopefully uh, mine does too. Where'd it go? Uh, mountain, go. So listeners, that was that was Randy. Island, the, go ahead. The former owner of... Uh, Top deck. Top deck in Kernersville, which mm -hmm. is now a college sports clothing store. Mm -hmm. or at least it was last time I looked. And uh, Lucky's. It's a good spot right there on the corner of Main Street. Okay, let's see. So I'm going to forest, pay two, cast Thunderherd Migration, reveal a dinosaur card from my hand. All right. It's a Rotska Frill bag. Yeah. And go get a basic and put it onto the battlefield. Taps. Ramp. Basic. Bellfield tabs. Go. Okay. Thunder herd migration, Mike. You believe that? 
Uh, now I do. <laughs> this is not going to work out. I mean, if you could see the rest of my hand, you wouldn't uh, you wouldn't be so down on yourself. Forrest, go ahead. <laughs> Trust me on this. It's not good, Mike. Although I'll probably draw this and like be like, huh? and then I'll, I'll win. So I feel bad about that. Nope. That didn't happen at all. Okay, so now get a forest. Play. No, 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 no. Do it this way. Play the night. All right. Well, that seemed kind of stupid. And it's cool as it was. All right, your turn. All right. <laughs> I did not math properly from for next turn at all. Oh well, it'll be all right. Play a forest. Play a siren reaver. Ooh, what's that do? Uh, it's a three two with flying, and if I had raid, it costs one less. Gotcha. I do not have raid. Your turn. Uh, the fridge just oh, kicked on. Fridge just kicked on. I wonder if the mic's picking that up. Jesus. I don't know. It's pretty loud. Loud as hell. All right. Okay, so now we're gonna forest. Oh. Okay, I could do that, I guess. Let's do it. Uh, one, two, three for a strider harness. All right. And then a jungle delver. All right. And then equip the harness to it. Okay. Eh, eh. And then swing the two, two, twos. Okay. Two, two, twos. Um. Oh, yeah, one drop. Um, no blocks. I'll be at 16. 16. Well, I'm tapped out, so it's your turn. Mr. Man. Island. Sack for three in the air. Great! Okay. No blocks. All right. <laughs> I'm at 17. Play a dead eye rig hauler. And the raid is Bounce a Creature, so I'll put Tillinali's Knight back in your hand. It's a 3 2. Huh, okay. Get in my hand. Your turn. Get bounced, okay. Yeah, you're so smart. I will replay the Knight. Alright. And give him haste. I'm putting the harness on him. Alright, great. Ha! And then I'll swing with both. Um, four mana. I mean, four, four mana, four attack. I block the knight with the hauler. Okay. And no blocks on the delver. Okay, I will. One and a green, aggressive urge, plus one, plus one, and draw a card. Okay. Oh, look, draw a card, sweet. And I take one from the delver. And you take one from the delver. And then. Okay, hold up. So last turn I was able to go one, three, and equip, so I had five men. Okay, good. So I'll play a man. Okay. Your turn, sir. Go get him until an least night without a dinosaur. Uh -uh. Islands. Mike goes, Galta, and I'm like, that isn't even math. <laughs> Siren Reaver. Yep. Three are flying. Yep. No luck, obviously. All right, three. Okay, three. Fourteen. Second main will play Colossal Dreadmaw. Hello, big ass thing. And then it's your turn. Okay, that's a problem. Six, six. Yep. Oh, you got Galt in hand, don't you, you son of a... <laughs> you don't know that. It's not... You're going to, like, play Galt and a three drop, but I'm going to swear it <laughs> so hard. Okay. Hang on, let me let me math real quick. Six six. Frillback. All right. Eh, haste. Okay. Eh, eh, eh. Everybody swing. I did. Um, trigger. Yeah. <laughs> it's only nine damage, Mike. No problem. Yeah. <laughs> I'll block Tillinelli's knight with the Dreadmaw and see what happens. Okay. So what happens is... You take six. Okay, nine. Nine. And my poor knight dies. Okay. But it'll be all right. 
and it's okay, go. Okay. All right. Do I lose? I don't know. He's so modest. Is this thing still recording, by the way? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. Lights on. Is it counting up? Uh, yes. Yay! Yeah. <laughs> Hopefully it's actually been picking up everything you're saying. Uh-huh. Mr. Mumbly Face. Yeah, I know. That's a problem. <laughs> um, I mean, after ten years, why would you have bothered to yeah, fix it? Yeah, this is dumb. <laughs> All right, so before anything starts dying in combat, I'm going to play Aquatic Incursion and get two more folk. I'm just going to use dice. Galt's cost two. Galt cost six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Well, no. I, I saw oh, the there's two green. green. Right, yeah. right, right. Uh huh. All right. Sorry, he played a four drop in Galt. That now I swear, except I'd have to edit it, so I'm not going to bother. All right, combat. Um, yes. <laughs> the Reaver and the Dreadmaw. This is nine. Yeah. I'm at. Uh, I can't even math. I'm so mad. Should five. Be five yeah. yeah. And it's your turn. And it's my turn. Dang. It. You and your stupid lands and lands and lands. bomb promo. <laughs> I got a brass's bounty. So yeah, the opening hand was a two drop. Uh -huh. and the migration and the rest of the lands and I'm like and then I drew a dinosaur and I'm like oh, oh okay. so now I can thunder hurt on two and start playing stuff and then everything I drew was dudes for a little while and you started drawing lands but again but then you got a freaking Galta so it, would, it, doesn't, it literally doesn't matter what I do I just die mm. that's really terrible why did they print that card for limited play I don't know like Jesus like, in Constructed, it's actually terrible. Like, it's pointless and stupid. It doesn't do anything. That could be good. But in Limited, it just it just hits the board and wins the game if yeah. you don't have an answer right now. Oh, I watched that um, video you sent me with um, Patrick and Cedric talking about the Chupacabra. Oh, yeah. And, yes, hearing hearing more of what Patrick was saying, I do, I do agree with him. Because for too long, a creature, a threat is only good if it makes an immediate impact. And that's it. Yeah. If, you, if you have to, if you have to wait to untap with something, it's just not good enough because the, because the other person is gonna kill it with the with the great removal that's available out there, or they're gonna outvalue you with the stuff that's making you know an immediate impact of yeah. their own that they're playing, or both. So that was the thing we talked about in uh -huh. last episode. Uh, the link was in the show notes for last episode. I will probably forget to put it in the show notes right. for this episode. So. You know, go find it. Because, like, the kind of stuff he was talking about, the stuff you have to make an investment on the board and then wait for it to pay off. And if it works, it's going to be awesome. And if it doesn't, well, dang. You just wasted a turn. Yeah. I mean, that's the kind of magic I like to play anyway. And it would be nice if that was good. But he's right. It just isn't good at all. No. It's too much of a risk. And standard, at least. And I like the way he didn't... Like, it wasn't just complaining about how the energy decks are ruling the world. Like, that didn't even enter into the... the right. That was one of his best examples of the problem. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. But that wasn't the point. That wasn't, yeah. yeah. That he wasn't, wasn't just complaining about Standard's current state. He's complaining about how Standard has been designed for the last few years, which right. is not what you usually hear from nerds on and the And it's internet. interesting that I brought up Bane, Bane Slayer Angel. I can't remember. So, were Bane Slayer Angel and the Titans in the first of those new style core sets, or, was, or did they come in the next round? Do you remember? I have no idea. The Titans were, were in M10 too, right? Titans were in M10? Okay, along with Bane Slayer. I don't know, let's look. We have modern technology, we can just look stuff up. Gatherer! Because I remember the, the URL for it. Uh, Is that one that everyone keeps? I just use it, you've got nothing, oh. and I don't care. Uh, there's, there's another one that people keep telling me to use that I can't remember the name of it, so I don't use it. Uh -huh. Prime, Prime, which the dorks? Yeah, that's the one. Proceeded to move the other dorks. Uh, well, he got Galta, so I just lose. Yeah. What happened to your hair? Oh, you took, were wearing I took his hat off. Yeah. yeah. Okay. It's very rare that we very rare that we see sexy hair without a hat. Yeah, and usually I don't have this long a hair either. I actually let it grow out for a little bit. 
Primeval Titan was in, nope, it was in 11 and 12. Okay. Okay, so Bane Slayer Angel was was alone. She could shine by herself without the Titans. Because really, if you're talking about things that have to make an immediate impact the turn you play them, the Titans are like the shining example of yeah. where that started to really happen. Like the horrible worst offend, uh, first offender. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. Very interesting. That's where it all started to go downhill, was when they printed the Titans. <laughs> <laughs> Those jerks. Well, there you go then. So that was our round one, as depressing as that was. How did we get the result? Oh, that was four, yeah. only 40 minutes, oh, even good. with... Because we started the recorder about the time we sat down. Uh-huh. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. And you beat me in 41 minutes. That's terrible. Well, we played three games. That's a good round. I hate you. What? <laughs> you, and, you and your stupid Galta. <laughs> yeah. I hey, I drew it in game two and you didn't win. I mean, during game two, uh, he didn't lose. That's, uh, that's true, yeah. It's still stupid, though. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. It's very stupid. Okay, so you'll hear from us again after uh, round two, I guess. All right, well, round two is over, and all I can say is round two sucks. <laughs> that's How about all you? Right. No, no, it sucks. No, yeah. No. I got, so I was playing Addison. I got Murfolk. So you know how I built a deck? It's got a solid curve, but no, like, synergy? Yeah. Yeah, that loses to a deck with synergy <laughs> every yeah. time. Yeah. Like, he played the Merfolk Lord, the Mistbinder, uh -huh. and then all his Merfolk in game one, and I was lost. I was just lost. That was depressing. Mm -hmm. And then in game two, I had a lot of early drops, and then my deck just decided that was enough creatures. Right. His early drops and lands, that's all I get. And he played Merfolk and Jace, uh -huh. and proceeded to beat the crap out of me over yeah. the next several turns. So yeah, that was easy. How about your round two? Um, it was difficult. Evan was playing, um, Evan, right? Yeah. Uh, white Black Vampires. And of course, in the, in the first game, I didn't know that. And I kept a hand that was... Why didn't you know that, Mike? Cause, Idiot. Because I didn't <laughs> scout him out before the round started. I can't be everywhere. I could be, but I'm, I'm not. I don't, I don't have the initiative. Yeah, you're lazy. Uh, <laughs> but... Uh, so I kept a hand that ended up not giving me in a play until turn five, which means I wasn't able to do anything to get rolling at any point before then. And his draw wasn't super fast, but it was like a normal game of magic fast, which is much faster than not playing anything until turn five. That is how um, they get you. Yeah, yeah they get you, yeah. <laughs> uh, and he was able to use those uh, moment of whatever spells to pretty impressive effect in combat. There's a white one that gives one of your guys plus two plus two, and you gain one life. And there's a black one that gives someone else's creature minus two minus two, and you gain two life. Did I say one life the first time I met two life? Both of them give you two life. How many thumbs? This guy. <laughs> uh, when, <laughs> what was? Uh, you ever hate your friends? <laughs> Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Anyway, it just kind of got out of control. And when I was finally able to get, like, a Colossal Dreadmaw or whatever, he was able to bait me into blocking with it and then use that pirate that says, you know, kill something that's been dealt damage this turn. And when he was making the attack, I was trying to think, wait, is there a card that does that? I don't remember. And then he did it, and I'm like, yes, there is. <laughs> okay, now I know. Good to know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Score. <laughs> But he was just able to um, outvalue me with, you know, whatever he had going on. Um, I kind of don't like the uh, the four drop, the unblockable four drop Merfolk who bounces someone, messed me up again in that game too. Oh yeah. I don't know if I like him very much in this deck. I don't have enough cheap, cool things to back him up. I need to go back and think about that. Um, but game two, my hand, I, I should have thrown it back and tried for a, a faster hand, even though it was solid. I just, you know, knowing what deck he was playing, should have gone back, but I didn't. Um, and then I ended up being able to play the two drop explorer guy on turn two, and it flipped a plummet, and I thought really hard. It was like, I only saw like one flying creature last game. I don't know if I want this in my hand now, but I want to try for something else. So I put it in the graveyard. So then on his next turn, he plays the 2-3 guy with flying, and I'm like, great. 
<laughs> which is not one of the ones I saw in the previous game. Um, but eventually, you know, I get some big creatures and I'm able to get him down to like seven. But then he starts to come back because he's had a Lend of the Dusk Rose on the battlefield for a while. She's gotten like, you know, three or four counters so far. She's just sitting there. So my big guys, you know, aren't quite big enough anymore to just attack without caring. Um, and then he finds Twilight Prophet. The, you know, the, the four drop mythic. 2 4 with the yeah. Super Bob ability. Yeah. Um, and that's that, brutal. Yeah, that starts to give him, get him back in the game. He's getting more cards. There's one point where, like, our boards are pretty full, and I have a Dread Maw, and I could easily, you know, trample over any one or two of the things he could throw in front of it, but still, I'm like, poor comment of, like, how many cards are in your hand? And he's like, five. And I'm like, oh my god, I'm going to lose. So I figure if I'm going to lose, I might as well hurry it up. And I attack with a Dread Maw, just the Dread Maw. And so he does um, Moment of Hunger, Moment of Hunger to give it a total of minus four, minus four. And then he blocks it with uh, a Chupacabra that had taken one of my things earlier in my great. <laughs> so Alenda gets two more counters. I'm down one Dread Maw, and I just have a bunch of okay guys on the field. And... Uh, He's able to get over the top of me over the next few turns. That's Partly because I do end up blocking and killing Elenda at one point, but he's had that um, he's had that dog forever. The one with the first strike with the big activated ability. Pay seven and a white and tap and sack it. Give all your creatures a plus two plus two until end of turn. Oh, right. So he just wins the next turn ah. from all the tokens Elenda made. So nice. whatever. Yeah, I got beat. That's pretty bad. That sounds pretty bad. I didn't draw Galton. I got Murphle. Yep. You got Vampire. I did. Uh. <laughs> but yeah, ha even like even in that first game, like having solid dudes on curve. Yeah. Doesn't matter when he's got a Murphle Lord, so everything he plays is above curve. Yeah, it's better. It just uh -huh. doesn't. And I just look at it. I'm like, well, that's better than all my guys. Great. Mm -hmm. And he plays another one. I'm like, oh, that's better than all my guys. Great. <laughs> and the second game, he played Kamina. Also, just, you know, why not? Oh, yeah. <coughs> right next to his Jace. And I'm like, uh. <laughs> He also had two water knots. So <clears> then <throat> the thing that I had that could have done, that was doing damage, right. not anymore. No. No, just tap it and Nobody shut up. Yeah, it's not it's not a good round for either of us, it sounds like. Because, mm. like, my games weren't even fun. At least yeah. the dude wasn't a jerk. You know, he's a nice guy. Right. So that was good. <laughs> but it was, it was legitimately not fun. <laughs> Because in this synergy block, I have no synergy in my deck. Right, yeah, that kind of blows. Yeah. I ended up playing... Oh, hang on, I have sneeze. There it was. I ended up playing my uh, whatever crown Right. on his illusion token, so I wouldn't take four every turn. Just here, target that. Okay, it's dead now. Thank goodness. My crown of Tillinelli. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Just so his little Jake's illusion would die. So I could maybe well, buy myself two more turns. Sometimes you got to do that. And, yeah, when I bought myself two more turns, you know what I drew? Two more lands! Aha! It was glorious. I'm wondering if I should drop down to 16 lands, because that's been a problem in every game but the first one. Maybe. But I don't know. Bro, yeah, that was, it was... Like, how much Explorer and land finding do you have? One of each. One of each. Oh, yeah. well. That could go either way. I don't know. So we're going to work on that, and, uh... Yeah, see you next round. I don't remember whether I got last year's from the wall. You don't remember if you got what? Last year's from the vault. I don't even remember what last year's from the vault is. Vault lore. It was like important story moments and characters. Oh, I don't know. That was random. Because I, because I want to get the the dual deck and the from the vault that I'm missing before I leave. But I don't remember if I got last year's from the vault. I probably did. The problem is the last like three or. Maybe four of them I haven't even opened. Like I haven't taken them out of the plain white outer box. Yeah. Because so they don't friggin' play Magic anymore. Yeah. But look, here we are playing Magic. Yay! And speaking of which, so round three? It was round three, right? Mm -hmm. Is over. Yeah. I lost that one too. But at least these games were interesting. I was playing Jeff, who was playing Grix's Pirates. I'm not sure where his splash was. He wasn't solid three colors. Uh-huh. 
He might have been because he had that Twilight's Prophet in hand, which is two black mana and its cost, right? Right. So it's possible he was actually three color. But so in the first game, he got out the two two Stormfleet Sprinter unblockable haste guy uh -huh. and just was beating on me and beating on me and beating on me. And then later he played Admiral Beckett, Beckett Brass. Cool. So it was the three three. And then he he hit five mana and he's like, right, I'm, I want to play Angrath. And then he did some math and realized, oh wait, instead of playing Angrath, I'll just win. <laughs> and he played the uh, what's it called, Buccaneers Bravado. Mm -hmm. I was at seven, so he had a two-two being pumped by Beckett Brass. It was a three-three plus one plus one and double strike. It was eight damage. Right. I was at seven. So yeah, I lost. But at least the game was miserable. And then in game two, he started off real slow. He couldn't find any mana. He was on three mana, but it was three colors, you know, yeah. uh, for a long time. And I flooded. And I hit dudes that were not impressive enough. Right. Whereas he kept having enough dudes to get in the way. And... Uh, then he goes, oh, wait, he wanted to play Twilight's Prophet and get the city's blessing. And he goes, wait, I could just play Angrath, steal your 4-2 and kill you. And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I kept drawing, I had, what, six land on the board and two in hand or something yeah, stupid did. like that uh, at the end? I don't understand. But if I, I know if I go to 16 land, I will be mana screwed every game for the rest of forever. Probably. So I guess I just live with the flood, because flooding is much less than getting screwed. Uh -huh. So how about your round three? Um, it went well. I was playing against uh, Evan. He was also playing green blue, but he had more like merfolk and synergistic small guys and whatnot. So he was able to start each game uh, faster. But this time, I wasn't stuck without a play until turn four or five. Each time I was able to find something on turn three to do. I can't remember if I did that that three drop explore guy on turn three in both games, but I know at least one. But that's really useful to be able to drop that on turn three and make it bigger. Because I was already good on lands in my hand. I wasn't worried about that. So the dude got bigger, and that helps. Um, that helped slow him down just enough to let me get back and start playing my, you know, cool five drops when it mattered, like the flying guy with X-proof and the 4-4 four -four with thin rapes that makes sapper links. But I did also end up drawing Galta in both games. And Imagine that. Ca and cast Galta for two mana in both games. In one game I had to do it twice because he bounced it. But I was okay because it was a 12-12 trample for two mana. This seems fine. Yeah, yeah, I was okay with that. And I did end up winning. Went pretty well, yeah. Nice. Nice and short. Yeah, you, you played Galta and I got oh, I win. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Story about so I'm 3 Gosh. Yeah, it's been a long time since I did that bad at pre-release. Mm -hmm. It has been. And as I said after the, we stopped the recording last time, like I did bad enough to where I'm okay with giving up and going home, but we're recording content and there's only one more round, so what the hell. Yeah, whatever. So yeah, but it was like last round was that bad. This round was at least entertaining, and I was doing things. Mm -hmm. So that didn't, you know. Yeah, matter. I like that guy too. I've played against him several times before in like modern events and whatnot. Oh, Jeff, yeah. Yeah, I like Jeff. He plays the uh, that five color humans deck now in modern. Oh, nice. Which looks like a blast. <laughs> it does look really fun. And he brought up the uh, Snapcaster Pirate and how he thinks that'll be really neat. It was. Like, I mean, your opponent is always going to have good spells you want to cast. Probably, yeah. I mean, I hope. Unless they're also playing a mono creatures deck like Five Color Humans, but, you know. <laughs> hmm. Oh, well. So, there's just one more round, right? Lucky does it right. Yeah, he does. Yeah, okay, good. Thank goodness. I think six rounds in the top eight? Oh, Jesus Christ. It's, it's, slightly, more, it's slightly more sad that... Um, the uh, the red Snapcaster Pirate can't grab Gitaxian Probe because Gitaxian Probe is banned. So that'd be pretty sweet to be able to that would be pretty sweet. <laughs> re grab your opponent's Gitaxian Probe. Wow. Probe still legal in Legacy. Shut your face, man. Isn't it? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I can't remember. Maybe it's not. Who knows? I don't pay attention to Legacy because why would you? There's a Legacy GP in Richmond this year. Okay. <laughs> Wait, a GP in Richmond? Yes. Mm -hmm. that's, that's really weird, actually. Uh -huh. huh. You think they've just given up on Charlotte completely? I think they've given up on North Carolina completely. Mm -hmm. 
but it could be whatever happened to the, that bill. I thought it was. I thought it got repealed. As un, I thought it got struck down as unconstitutional. I don't remember. We'll have I don't to remember. Because there sure haven't been any more events in Charlotte. Nope. Since that day. Mm-hmm. <laughs> And that was what? No, it, it did get um, taken out because, remember, the NBA said they would, or the NCAA or someone started saying they would do stuff again. Oh, they did? Yeah. I don't remember. Yeah, I don't know. I don't remember. Yeah. I don't remember either. Maybe that's just wishful thinking. Who knows? It, Probably. North Carolina used to be cool. <laughs> yeah, it used to be obvious which Carolina was the bad one. <laughs> now it's not so much, and that's a problem. <laughs> That was for you, Bill. Not that Bill listens to the show anymore, but still. Uh, Bill's at Ichiban Con. Oh, cool. Whatever that is. I don't even know where that is. Usually he is like, oh, yeah, I'm going to Ichiban Con in wherever, but he didn't this time. I assume it has something to do with Glorious Nippon. Well, yeah, it's Bill. Yeah. <laughs> oh, well. Okay, then, so more after uh, the tournament's over, right? Yep, right. Okay, bye. bye. All right. Well, that was round four. It was. I have done something I haven't done in a long time. I owe Ford. Oh, wow. Dude, she beat the crap out of me. Her name was Jess. Uh-huh. And, and uh, she just had a better deck than I did. It was three colors, but it was dinosaurs. And okay. she just had better ones. Mm-hmm. And she had Hotley in game one. So she's like, Hotley, make a 3 3. And I'm like, oh. And then she goes, Hotley, make a 3 3. I'm like, oh. And she goes, make a 3 3. I'm like, oh. And uh, I did have a really sweet turn in uh-huh. the first game, though. Like, she wouldn't kill my cherished uh, hatchling, uh-huh. so I played my, the 1-1 one, one goblin dude, mm-hmm. and the one that has haste and can tap and sack and ping. Right. So I played it, tapped it and sacked it, and pinged my hatchling to play the 2-5 to kill off her 2-2 with double strike because she had the city's blessing. And I was like, yes! I mean, it took two little dudes off the board to give uh-huh. me a big dude and take her scary dude off the board. Right. So... It seemed worth it. Yeah. She just wouldn't kill it. Every turn, I'm like, swing with this? And she's like, no. And she wouldn't attack with anything. When I didn't swing with it, I'm like... <laughs> so I had to take matters into my own hands. And then in the second game, like, I started off strong. I had right. turn two, Thunderherd migration, and then just dude, 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 dude. But her dudes were just better. And eventually, like, she had combat tricks. She had the swipe of talons and uh, an aggressive urge. Uh-huh. And I just just couldn't keep up and it, like I ran her out of cards and she kept drawing gas and I kept drawing guess what lands lands that started to happen to me too in my I noticed that in that last game there you drew a land and it was an island I almost went are you playing my deck because mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah but I mean I can't downplay it like she she kicked the crap out of me right so yeah it was, it was brutal so how, how did your round go um, it went all right. It, uh, I lost, but it still went all right. So the first game, my deck did the normal thing that I prefer it to do, which is, you know, play a bunch of play creatures starting on turn three and just keep doing that. And then um, I was able to turn, I was able to get the Winged City of Araska in that game. That's, is that when you flip the climb? Yeah, that's, that's when you flip the climb. <laughs> nice. But I didn't use it right away because it wouldn't have killed my opponent right away, and he was leaving mana up like he had something, like either either a plummet or a uh, or that four-cost spell that just kills an attacking or blocking creature. So I played around with it a little bit, but I was finally able to use that to win eventually after several more turns, and that was good. Nice. So the second game... Um, Oh, the first game, he was also having to work a little harder to get his mana right. He was in Abzan colors. Mm. The uh, second game, he, I didn't have as much early stuff, but he was able to get going. And on turn four, he dropped a Looming Altasaur, the 1-7. And I was like, well, damn, because I couldn't really do anything with that. Like, my creature's power, except for Galta, my creature's power is top out at six, and that's only the Colossal Dreadnought. Yeah. So I just kind of had to sit there looking at him um, for a while and only like chipping in for two for someone who could get by, you know, unblocked just because I had more creatures than him for a while. Yeah. But we still weren't trading anything in combat. 
But eventually he was able to get the tender shoot dryad and just start making saplings. And that was a serious problem because, you know, because we had been sitting there, he had the he had the city's blessing like that, you know, yeah. pretty much immediately. So now they were three threes. And I got I found the climb again. So I started charging up one of my creatures to eventually, you know, try to turn it over and just win in the air. He still had a flyer though, so I was gonna have to get through that. And then I found Galta. I'm like, okay, great. So I play Galta. It's my promo Galta. So on the next turn, he plays his promo Dead Man's Chest on it. That's like, okay, well, wonderful. Anything, right? Not right away. Okay. But when the creature dies, when the enchanted creature dies, you exile cards equal to its power from the top of, you know, my library. Yeah. And then he can use, they stay in exile, and he can use mana as if it were mana of any type to cast them. Right. Like, so, it doesn't lock down Galt or anything like no, that. No, it doesn't it's, lock him down. It's just... That means he's going to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> Thing was, he had so many saplings at this point, and I didn't do the math, I should have, just to make sure that I had enough time, that I just decided to go ahead and attack with Galta. He was a pretty low life at this point. Just attack with Galta and just clear enough stuff from his board that I wouldn't be in danger. Um, so that then on the next turn, I could flip to the winged city mm. and actually win yeah. with something yeah. but first of all I didn't count the damage on the board just to make sure and then I didn't stop and think about the number of cards that were left in my library so I should have realized that it was highly likely that he was going to get my only removal spell from the dead man's chest and he did he got the expel from Araska. so he expelled the guy that I had already been putting counters on mm. which meant the climb was not going to happen anymore and uh, he was able to take back control of the game on the board and also just keep playing more stuff from the stuff he had exiled from the chest yep. and run me over with those things and saplings at one point. That's brutal. Yeah, game three. Um, <laughs> my opening hand didn't look good enough. And I decided to go ahead and try again. The six was even worse. It was like one land and Galta and Dreadmaw and some other stuff. And the five was only okay. And ended up being not enough because on his on his turn five, it might even have been turn four because he had that um Hensican seer. The guy that makes that can make man of any color and can also do something with dinosaurs, I don't know. Yeah. It's a green white card. Um, he got the tender shoot dry out again and started making saplings and I couldn't kill it because my deck has no removal and he had enough other guys to he had enough other guys that making attacks was just kind of stupid that you know I couldn't put any pressure on him so eventually he got the city's blessing just from the sapling tokens basically Gary left yeah Gary did leave and when you when you pulled up we had going on for we had been going on for enough turns that he just had enough sapperlings that he could safely say, okay, attack you. He had like eight or ten sapperlings mm -hmm. by the time I walked up. I was yeah. like, mm -hmm. you were like, the tender shoot dryads going on. And I'm like, I'm like what does that do? And I'm like, are all those dice sapperlings? You were like, yes. Like, oh, my God. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> what you wouldn't give for an echoing truth. Exactly. <laughs> And then my Colossal Dreadmaw that I had played that maybe I was hopefully going to be able to clear two saplings with. This freaking guy. He also got a dead man's chest put on him, so I'm like, well, I'm not making that idiotic mistake again. Mm. Yeah, yours was, uh, yours was definitely more epic in its failure. <laughs> yes. Mine was just, my deck isn't good. <laughs> the, the deck is fine, but in this format... Yeah, she's had better creatures. Mm -hmm. And I should have I should have stopped and thought more about how many dinosaurs I actually have to work with commune the dinosaur, commune with dinosaurs. Because if you don't have enough, then it's just get a land and put these other cards on the bottom of your library and make you feel stupid. Which happened in our second game because it ended up putting both of my flying hexproof guys on the bottom of my library just out of sheer bad luck nice mm -hmm. that sucks yeah. yeah so if I had 
if I had gone with Commune to the Dinosaurs, maybe I should have played Green White just because that had more dinosaurs in it. And it also had the white elder dinosaur. But then I would have had a much slower deck. I just don't know how it would have gone. I had good removal spells in white, but who knows? Who knows? I don't know. I should have played a different pool. <laughs> <laughs> Basically. Like, I'm not one to usually blame it on the, the pool, but dude. It was messed up. The pool was bad. Mm -hmm. Like, it had, I mean, I built the only deck I think that was there. Mm -hmm. I suppose I could have gone green, black, and had a couple of removal spells yeah. and some less impressive dudes. but Or tried red, black. It might not have been very good. I don't think the red, black would have worked. Green just had too much good stuff. Uh -huh. But, like, I didn't have any synergy in, at all in any way across the tribes. It was, it was just bad. I didn't either, really, now that I think about it. Like, she had two of the, the three twos that, with Enrage, gained two life. Mm -hmm. Which was enough to kill my 4-2 that I played and gain her 2 life. Yeah. So she, like, net gain 6 mm -hmm. with one 3 drop. And I'm like, oh. I mean, even <laughs> your, in the games we played, even your 2-drop uh, that gets plus and plus 1 when it attacks if you control a dinosaur was great. It was fantastic. Yeah. I never drew it in any more games mm -hmm. when I had a dinosaur, by the way. Okay. I might have in one game. Mm -hmm. but Clearly, it didn't do any good. Yeah, but the synergistic cards really matter. Yeah. Otherwise, like we were saying earlier, I don't know if it was on air. Otherwise, you're just playing normal cards. Yeah. But and if your opponent has a bunch of synergistic ones, they're yeah. playing in, cards in that are much like better this, than normal. Just uh -huh. good cards doesn't cut it. You have to have okay cards that work well together. Mm -hmm. And they turn into great cards. Yeah. So yeah, that was that was my life. But hey, I went 04. It's been a long time since I did that, so I guess I was due. I guess. <laughs> I guess. Oh. I don't really I don't know like this experience was bad enough to where I don't really have anything else to say about the set it still no. has cards that are just sick and stupid and fun yeah I don't think I wasted an afternoon I'm glad I came out here I kind of did but you know <laughs> well that's alright whatever at least I got to see you yeah that's good and we're gonna go have celebratory next week right yeah speaking of which what time is it it's a. Uh, there's a message in the way. I could have pulled out my phone in this, this amount of time. It is 4:54, so it's basically five o'clock. Nice. It's right at time to eat next week. Yeah. The message was from Ashley. I was telling her that the last round was about to start. She said, "Go get him, wink." I did not get him. I failed. But did you wink? No, she winked. But she told you to go get him wink. Did, did you wink? Did she call you wink? Is that your, your pet name? No, it was a winky face emoticon thing. I just say emoticon. That's an old word, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. But on your phone, that's what it was. So. Yes, it was. <laughs> yeah, it was actually text. It was the semicolon. I mean, I still do that. I very rarely use yeah. actual emojis. Most formats will actually turn it into an emoji. Yeah, we'll but, auto do it, yeah. But some don't, and then it's just colon P. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, well. I like equal sign P. I saw some, yeah someone who I used to chat with on AIM back in college would use equal signs for the eyes instead, and I just thought that looked better. So that's how I've done mine you with must. equal signs for eyes. What's wrong with him? I don't know. I have problems. He's a communist. What's up, Eric? Back away. Oh. Back away. Be afraid. I was going to ask you how you did and how you. Are you oh. even playing? Are you playing? I was playing, yeah. Yeah, I, I, w I went 04. Good job. <laughs> I was doing too. Good job. Better. <laughs> yeah, yeah, so wait, who, who are you? Oh, oh, no, no, I don't want to be on well, it. You're already on it. It's too late. You were talking to us and it's recording, so. So who are you? Erica Serrano. Wait, oh, we got a full name. I have to edit that because you don't want people to know you're Erica, Erica Serrano. <laughs> no, I'm okay with that. I'm not ashamed of him yet. You're the one. That's, That's not ashamed, ashamed of him, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, 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 he's good people. Hey, Serrano, how'd you do? Medium? What? I need some numbers, man. I went officially 3-1. Officially? Officially. We were going to draw the last round, and being two, both of us being 2-1-1 was bad. Uh, so. They split you, you, you want me to make you feel better? 0-4. Oh, Did you? Hell yeah. That's actually impressive. It is. <laughs> it is. <laughs> I can't even get that bad when I try. Yeah, <laughs> screw you, Serrano. <laughs> <laughs> this is the love I get at my own store. I love it. 
Anyway, so are we done? I think we are. Okay, I'm well sorry, then there's not I will. Round. You can't go five. I, I'm, don't don't tempt me. Unless I you can do it. Podcast. I mean, yeah, the podcast. <laughs> this one probably is actually uh, a loss. Uh, well, I will edit in reading off the Patreon names and all the content information later. So I guess that is it from us from Lucky's Card Shop here in lovely Greensboro, North Carolina. At the rivals of Ixalan pre-release. I suck. Mike sucks less. Serrano sucks whether he likes it or not. I didn't play. And, what? and she still got the same amount no, of wins as you. No, I just meant in life. Oh. Yeah, well, sucks. then I yeah. rock. Yeah, then you rock. Even though this, you I still mean, rock. I mean, he's a winner because of me. Oh, okay. That That's sense. how it works. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he he wins by default. That's true, yeah. yeah. Dude, she offered to bring me food. Isn't she sweet? I offered to bring yeah. You don't, you, don't, you don't deserve her, Serena. You know what? You don't know the half of it. <laughs> <laughs> At least he's self-aware. Um, but Sexy Jared left. Hey, you. And Gary left, and everybody left. Yeah. So. Bye. Bye. Bye, it's good to see you. Then I'm going to play, because I actually have a chance of winning, because he's my partner. <laughs> oh, is that tonight? Yes, yeah, Oh, crowd. nice, okay. <laughs> Well, good luck, you two. No, we're going to go eat Mexican no. food on the other side of the, the different town. But you have, like, a partner. But I don't like him. But I don't like him. He's breathing. I still don't like him. Wait, do I like you? Uh-huh. Eh. Just saying. <laughs> this is the love we get at our, at our home store here. Lord. We've been away too long. I mean, to be fair, that wouldn't make a difference. <laughs> true. That's true. Uh, so I guess, yeah, we're, yeah, we're done If we were here every week, it'd be even more pronounced. Yeah, ain't that the truth. Mm-hmm. I guess we will, uh, yeah, like I said, I'll edit in all the other stuff at the end. So that's it for us, so bye. Bye. You might not know it, but that last sound effect took you several days into the future. <laughs> anyway. You can find everything that we do here on The Manipool at themanipool.com, as far as the podcast goes. That's what I meant by we, that us dorks. We do the podcast at themanipool.com. If you want to watch some video game videos that I do, you can go to youtube.com slash themanipool. Here lately I've been playing Cuphead and also posting my successful Cobalts and Catacombs dungeon run runs. Yeah. If you want to watch me play things live, then you can check out twitch.tv slash themanapool, where I play Hearthstone and Overwatch and also assorted other nonsense. I think I'm going to play some Slime Rancher later in the week. That should be fun, yeah. And if you want to follow us on all the social media things, you can totally do that. We're on Twitter at The Mana Pool. We're on Facebook.com slash The Mana Pool. Instagram is The Mana Pool, although I still haven't figured out how to post from my computer to Instagram. But once I figure that out, there'll just be a flood of things, mostly thumbnails that I make. Um, Is that everything? Oh, and if you want to help support what we do with all of these podcasts and YouTube videos and what's the other thing? Streams. I just got done saying it. You think I'd know. Then you can go check out the Patreon where every little bit helps. And I really do appreciate it. You can get the early stuff, get Manipool episodes and YouTube videos early. You can get early stuff and the odds and ends, all the stuff recorded before and after both Monday Night Magic and the Manipool. That is uncensored and unfiltered and generally unsafe for consumption. Although, I must warn you, you will get no odds and ends for this episode because it all just goes in the show. Shut up, phone. Like I said, several days later. And if you would like, you can become a Manipool lifeguard where you will get early stuff, odds and ends, and, and... Get your name on the end slate for every video that goes up for each month you support at that tier. And I will read off your name during both podcasts. So to that end, I would like to thank the following. It's exceedingly, this, it's, uh, it's early, y'all. Give me a break. Exceedingly generous lifeguards. Kim Ho, Andrew Hunt, Al, Paul David, 
Lands Delicious, Team U Hellas How Are You, John Morris, Stuart Slaw, PJ McMullen, Bosco Bretain, Casey, Nathan Hay, AJ Javieris, Cody Buckowing, Jacob Jansons, Jason Kaus, Gothic Man, Patrick, Brian DeLucci, Stark Maximum, Jimmy Scott, Dan Holm, Mike Millerburn, and the Beast Father, Aaron Goodwine. Thank you all very much. I quite literally couldn't do it without you. Literally. And so with that, this has been whatever episode number of the Manipool this is. Because it's been several days and I forgot. That's one of the problems with time travel. And having no concept of the passage of time. And the memory of a freaking goldfish. Episode 493 <laughs> of the Manipool. Thank you all so very much for listening, and, uh, how'd you do with the pre-release? Yeah.